here is how you can create a custom GPT for free. Yes, you don't need a ChatGPT paid subscription for this. It still blows my mind that such a small number of people actually know about this. And if you stick around till the end, I'll show you how to get $5 of free credit as well. In my last video, I showed you how to create a custom GPT using the ChatGPT paid version. And a lot of you wanted to know how to create a custom GPT even if you do not have the ChatGPT paid version. I'm going to try and break this down as simply as possible. So OpenAI is the main company and they own ChatGPT and OpenAI are the creators of GPT language models. ChatGPT is built on GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. Now the playground allows you to play around with different GPT models even if you do not have a ChatGPT paid subscription. Now the playground won't look as aesthetically pleasing as ChatGPT but it is just as powerful and in some instances it is actually more powerful than ChatGPT. So after we create this GPT I will show you how to create an account etc. Firstly I just want to show you how powerful this actually is. So let's head over to platform.openai.com forward slash playground. Now on the left hand side you will see assistance. So now within the playground it's called assistance but it is the same thing as GPTs. Now I'm going to create just a simple GPT just to show you what is possible. You can always create much more complex and powerful GPTs if you like. But I would highly suggest that you start with a simple GPT first and then take it from there. So all I'm going to do within the dashboard is click on create. Now the first thing is I need to give it a name. So for this example I'm going to create a social media captions generator for videos. Then below that you will see instructions. So think of this just like prompts. So I want to give it instructions of how I want it to perform. So I'm just telling it, you are a social media expert who specializes in viral captions. Create a lengthy SEO focused caption for a video. Use five viral hashtags, format it in paragraphs and bullet points if needed. Use the same style and tone of voice from the transcript. Do not hallucinate and stay on topic. When a chat starts, always ask for a video transcript and always address the user as boss. Be friendly and add in some Humor. All right, so that is just some simple instructions. But don't worry, even if you want to edit this later, you can do that as well. Then the next step is we want to choose our model. So here we have a few options. So currently it shows me three versions of GPT 3.5 Turbo. Now at the end, I will show you how to get a GPT 4. Now this, remember, is just a test account that I created just to show you how you can do this for free. So let me just show you my real account. So in my main account, as you will see here, now I have access to GPT-4. But just for this video, I created a test account just to show you what is possible. So back in my test account, you will see there are only three options. But that's fine. I'm just going to choose any one of them. Now the first option now is functions. Now this is more for advanced users. So I'm not going to touch on this at the moment. Once you play around with this and you get familiar with it, then you can start playing around with functions. Then next we have code interpreter. So put simply as the name suggests, this handles code very well. Now I'm just asking it for a social media caption. So I don't think I will need code involved. So as you can see, I can toggle this on or off, but I will leave this off because I don't need any code for now. But remember, I can always change this later. Then the next step is a retriever. So what does retrieval actually mean? This will allow the user who is using this GPT to upload their own files. So for example, they can upload text files, PDFs, Excel sheets, etc. So if I want to give that functionality, I can just toggle this on. So I want to do that. So I will toggle this on. Then the next step is files. So I can actually upload my old files and train this GPT on those files. Now you can upload any files if you like, but for this example, I'm not going to upload any files. So once I'm done with that, I'll simply click on save. And now it says your assistant has been updated. Now let's test it out. So to do this, I'll simply click on the test button. 
Now this opens up a new window and as you can see, I have the name, instructions, model, etc. on the left hand side, which I can edit at any time. Now let's simply start by asking it, what can you do? And then click on add and run. Now here is the response. Now firstly, you can see it understood the instructions because it starts with, Hey boss, I can help you with social media content and captions, whether you need engaging captions for your videos, viral hashtags or SEO focused descriptions, I've got you covered. Just let me know what you need and I'll make sure your content stands out in the crowded world of social media. If you have a specific video or piece of content that needs a caption, feel free to share it with me. I'll get to work on crafting the perfect caption for you. Let's make your content go viral so it clearly understood the instruction so to test this out i'm actually going to feed it my last video transcript so i'll just head over to the transcript i'll copy this and i'll come back here and i'll say here is my video transcript and then i'll paste this in here and i'll say add and run now here is the response. Awesome. Thanks for sharing the video transcript boss. Now let's craft a captivating and informative caption for this video. And as you can see, it goes in detail. It says unleashing the power of custom GPTs, a step-by-step -step guide, which is what the transcript was about. And it goes on and it gives me a long SEO focused video caption. So it worked exactly as we planned. Now, let me show you some functionality here as well. As you can see, now I can upload files here as well. So say, for example, if I had a PDF or I had a text document or an image, etc., I can do this now using this free playground. Now, if I had to do this within ChatGPT, I will only be able to do this using the paid version. Now, this was just a test just to show you how simple it is to create your own custom GPT. Now, within the playground, if you would like to actually add your GPT into your own application, you can actually do this. So if I just click on the top right where it says learn about the assistant API, this will open up another window and this will show me how to build a AI assistance within your own applications. So now you can go over this yourself and do it yourself, or you can actually hire a developer and they will be able to upload your custom GPT into your own application. Now this you cannot do with the chat GPT paid version. So now that I've showed you how powerful this actually is, let me show you how to quickly sign up. So firstly, you will need to go to openai.com and sign up for a free account. Now, if you already have a ChatGPT account, whether it's the free version or the paid version, you can use the same credentials to log in here as well. Now, if you head over to the billing section, you will notice that now they give you a free trial and they give you a free free $5 credit. Now, remember I mentioned that this only has GPT 3.5. Now, what if you want to get GPT 4? So to get GPT 4, you can see that this article, which is in the OpenAI help forum, which was updated over a week ago, states that if you've made a successful payment of $1 or more, you'll be able to access the GPT 4 API. So that means once you finish this $5 credit, you will add in your own payment details and once you pass $1, that is when you will get access to GBT4. Now, just to give you some pricing. So firstly, this is not a subscription. So you only pay for what you use. And this as well is really cheap. So for example, with GBT4, which is the latest model, you will pay around one cent for 1000 tokens. So what does 1000 tokens actually get you? So 1000 tokens is about 750 words so this is really cheap and if you go further down you will see gpt 3.5 turbo is even cheaper so for example here it says 0 0.0015 cent for 1000 tokens now let me show you my usage for this test account so i've just been playing around with this test account for a few hours and whilst playing around with it as you can see it is only one day the first day that i created this account and so far i have only spent three cent. So you can get a lot of usage out of this. And as I stated earlier, this is not a subscription. So you only pay for what you use and you can also set limits. So for example, once you are on a paid plan, you can manage your usage limit. So say, for example, you want to say, I only want to use 
$5. So you can set your limit to $5 and it will cut off after $5 and you won't be able to access it. This will allow you to not overspend. So now you cannot use the excuse anymore that you do not have the money for the paid version because here is a free alternative. So I hope you found value in this video, but most of all, I hope that you take action and actually play around with this. So hit the like button if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe as well.